Cancer is the second leading cause of death in the United States, and the risk of cancer increases as we get older. Interestingly enough, also, people's use of dietary supplements also tends to increase as we get older, too. Now, you've probably seen news stories about anti-aging NAD booster supplements like nicotinamide riboside being linked to cancer. So if you're taking nicotinamide riboside supplements, what the heck is going on? So here is the nicotinamide riboside cancer study everybody's talking about. I'll also call your attention to the fact that one of the researchers involved in this study is associated with the Nestle Institute of Health Sciences. So why is Nestle, the chocolate company, involved with a study on nicotinamide riboside as I first pointed out on my Supplement Clarity website, Nestle has a nicotinamide riboside supplement called Celtrian Energy that contains, wait for it, 250 milligrams of nicotinamide riboside. So my guess is Nestle has an interest in doing nicotinamide riboside research. Okay, so much for that. What is going on with this investigation? Well, according to press releases, one of the scientists involved in the study became interested in nicotinamide riboside after her father passed away from cancer. She wondered that since nicotinamide riboside increases cellular energy, and since cancers use cellular energy to grow, what does that mean in terms of nicotinamide riboside's ability to cause cancer and maybe trigger it to spread throughout the body? So in this paper, it stated that they developed a technique using light to view the uptake of nicotinamide riboside in cells and in animals, which in this case, by the way, were mice. Basically, the brighter the light they saw, the more nicotinamide riboside was taken up by the cells. So from this investigation, it was determined that nicotinamide riboside led to an increase in cancer and the spread of cancer to the brain, specifically a type of cancer called triple negative breast cancer, which if you're not familiar with triple negative breast cancer, it's a type of breast cancer that doesn't have the three types of receptors or locks that other types of breast cancers have, and so it doesn't respond to as many therapies as other types of breast cancer. Fortunately, most breast cancers are not the triple negative kind, but as one of the researchers in the study stated, when the cancer spreads to the brain, there's not much doctors can do to treat it. So I get where this is grabbing people's attention, but what does all of this mean? So here are my thoughts on this study. Number one, Let's remember this was an investigation of mice and isolated cells, and also this was the very first study linking nicotinamide riboside supplements to cancer, so it definitely needs to be replicated a few more times. Something else to keep in mind is that right now there's no proof that nicotinamide riboside supplements cause cancer in humans. That said, I would like to see this technique used in people who take nicotinamide riboside supplements to see what's happening, and I'm quite sure those studies are in the pipeline now. And one last thing I would say is that what is the implication of this for other things like nicotinamide mononucleotide, niacin, niacinamide, and other supplements touted to raise NAD levels. So if you followed my channel for a while, you know I'm not a big fan of nicotinamide riboside supplements. And if you're curious why, I'll link to my other videos on nicotinamide riboside so you can see the evidence for yourself. If you take nicotinamide riboside, let me know what you think in the comments below. But until next time, I am Joe from SupplementClarity.com. Take care.